Hello, dear students. I am Halik Valatovat again with you. So I am responsible to deliver a lesson for TN. The topic of this lesson is tomorrow's world, reading a better world, grammar, the future predictions. This lesson is devoted for the third course students of technical faculties. So let's move on to the next slide, which is about content of our lesson. First, we listen to the text Tomorrow's World and uh, watch a video The World in 2050. Then we look at vocabulary from the text and try to read and pronounce correctly. At the end, we work with grammar the future predictions and do some exercises. Look at the photos and answer the questions. What inventions or developments do the pictures show? How do you think they can benefit people? Dear students, it is time to listen the text. A better world. Communication. In the near in the near future, we may be able to communicate in any language we choose. A number of companies are working on translating machines that use the voice frequencies of the speaker. This makes it sound as though the user is speaking the foreign language. We already have translating machines, but they are slow and inaccurate and they sound like robots. In only a year or two, this new machine, which will be a headset, could come onto the market and allow us to speak every language under the sun. Entertainment, full immersion, virtual reality will be with us in perhaps 10 to 20 years time. We will be able to plant tiny microchips in the brain, allowing a person to experience games, movies and uh, virtual life as if they are real. As computers interact with the brain, we will have the sensation of touching, seeing, hearing and smelling virtual objects in virtual world instead of just watching heroes in movies. Signals to the brain will let us feel what our heroes feel, see what they see. Fortunately, if things get too terrifying, we will be able to switch it off with the push of a button. Here are also about health and the global problems. The future of health is going to be a tale of big and small. Tiny nano monitors will be placed inside our bodies and these will produce big data enormous amounts of information that allows us to check our health and help us predict illnesses. Another big development probably won't be ready in the short term, but in the long term there is a hope that 3D printers will make copies of body parts, such as hearts, livers and kidneys. If it happens, this is likely to save millions of lives using 3D printers, we can already make copies of plastic and metal objects. The next step is to copy living tissue. Dear students, now you have listened to the text, now it is time to watch video about uh, the topic The World in 2050.
okay dear students I think you like it, this video so uh, look at the useful vocabulary according to the text you should read and understand the meaning of this vocabulary now it is time to work with you with uh, grammar uh, the topic is uh, future predictions will use will to make pre predictions smartphones will organize our lives she is so talented that I am sure she will become famous we often use I think and I hope with will I think John will become a doctor she hopes she will work in the theater be going to use be going to make predictions when there is present evidence we only have two cars it's going to be difficult to take 11 people tomorrow we use probably to make the prediction less certain probably usually comes after will the dollar will probably get stronger this year probably comes after to be when we use it with be going to e-readers are probably going to become cheaper may and might use may or might to make predictions which are less certain the negative forms are may not and might not some of our workers may lose their jobs because of the uh, restructuring we might not go away this year because we don't have any money could use could to make predictions which are less certain global warming uh, could destroy large parts of Asia in the next 30 years be likely to use be likely to make predictions when something is probably the negative is be unlikely to or not to be likely to okay here are the homework for you you should do this exercise